I think I'll just turn the temperature down a little bit. Touch that and I will drown you as God is my witness. <laughs> Go on, get a Brazilian. No. <laughs> Why not? Because pubic hair is there for a reason. What's the reason? To provide some mystery. Doesn't mine provide mystery? No. <laughs> OK, get a Mohican. No, shut up! <laughs> I'm just going to turn it up a knock. Who dare? I mean, it's a hot tub! It's supposed to be hot! Nicole, put on a bloody jumper. <laughs> I'm not going to take my swimming costume off now. Oh, go on. No, you can make your own entertainment. <laughs> Need. Oh. <gasps> what now? No, it's a bit late, love. Yeah, let's talk about it in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Bye. She's on her way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, quick, drown me. She's my daughter. You'd be the same, love. If you weren't a barren, dried up, child hating old witch. God. The creeping menace of stepchildren engulfing the country like rats with their cries of, Shut up! You're not my real mum! Let's not argue, love. Let's not when we could be. <laughs> Doing some washing. Having sex in the hot tub! No! <laughs> what are we buying for? All right! <laughs> mm. Hang on, hang on. Oh, 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 actually, I'm not sure that's good for it. Carrie, oh, oh. Carrie, you're stretching it. Fantastic! Oh, no, seriously. Oh, no. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Buddy, give me a key. For emergencies, we're having sex. It would have been if a storm hadn't blown up. We don't want to do that in one of these. Eight people drowned in 2003, having sexual intercourse in hot tubs. <laughs> well, there's a lot of solid information out there on the internet. <laughs> Barry, I needed a word. The cab's outside, but it might need a bit of a sluice out. <laughs> God got in with a pig. I said, if that animal sits on the upholstery, he's paying for it. We go half a mile, there's a sound like a 20-foot sheet being torn in half. <laughs> it's like a muck-spreading contest back there. Kurt. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Enough pig story, Kirk. Oh, OK. Your pulse No more pig. I'll scrape the worst... Oh! I'll be off, then. See you later, mate. <laughs> oh, hush, you know. Fancy going ice skating? No, Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 
Dad. Hello, Princess. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, you're always telling me I should talk more to you about what I'm thinking and that. Yeah. Well... No, I can't. Oh, <laughs> come on, you can. Come on. OK. I keep having boyfriends who I really like. They seem to like me. Then we sleep together and it all goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> right. Carrie! <laughs> well, I'm glad we've had this little chat. <laughs> I haven't told you my problem yet. Sorry. I've met this new guy, Chris. And I really love him, but I'm scared he's going to dump me like the others. Well, my advice, as you know, is don't sleep with anyone till you're 18. I am 18. <laughs> you're absolutely sure? Yes. I'm sure your dad would talk to Chris and find out whether he's serious or whether he just wants to have sex with you. Wouldn't you, Barry? <laughs> of course I will. Oh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Shall I make you a proper bread poultice? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, thanks for putting me forward to interview Sinead's boyfriend. Of course he doesn't want a relationship. His brain's a heat-seeking device. It's going, sex, sex, <laughs> must put thing in thing. He may be a perfect gentleman. They do exist, you know. If Richard can't be working alone. <laughs> oh, come on. Men start with the sex, and if that's fun and they don't discover any of the horrors, we proceed to the next stage, chatting. <laughs> we chatted for weeks before we had sex. You were chatting. I was just standing next to you waiting for the balloon to go up. <laughs> what horrors, anyway? What's a horror? You don't want to know the horrors. I do. You want to know men's secret horrors the first time they have sex? Yes. OK. One, scary tits. <laughs> Two, she just lies there like a dead fish. <laughs> Three, face collapses when asleep. <laughs> Four, arse not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> Same as ours. Fine. Come <laughs> uh, on, off to work. Let's improve the lives of the ugly people. <laughs> What's happened to your face? Oh, I walked into a sodding cupboard door. Pants. <laughs> what? Nasty bruise on Carrie's face. Yeah. <laughs> Poor thing. Cupboard door. Yep. There's a lot of cupboard doors out there. <laughs> An awful lot of cupboard doors. Yeah, um, six, I think. <laughs> Out there in the world, a lot of cupboard doors hitting a lot of women in the face. Whoa, no, hang on a minute. Are you suggesting that I hit Carrie? That's a terrible thing to say. How dare you? There's a refuge down the road full of women like Carrie. And I don't mean Topshop. <laughs> I know. 
and that's a terrible thing. So to show you how wrong you are about me, I'm going to write him a cheque out right now. Battered ladies' home. <laughs> I'm trying to be respectful. Ten quid. A uh, hundred, a hundred, my pen just stalled. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'll get it down there. That's better, not quite so blowy. OK, let's go. <laughs> Bye. Outrageous. Maybe ten. No need to go mad. <laughs> You can't teach yourself acupuncture. <laughs> you can teach yourself anything. Oh, God, I think I've hit an artery. <laughs> the modern beauty consultant needs to be multi-skilled. Remember that bloke I had, Neville? It was all going well, then he asked if he could come in my handbag. <laughs> he taught himself liposuction from a library book. <laughs> now, don't cover it up, honey. Let the world see what he did to you. Michelle, he didn't hit me. Barry's never done anything violent. He's not that sort of bloke. He can't be bothered. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, back job. Yeah, ask for Cindy. <laughs> oh, bless. Enough for a sofa. You're a bit of a geezer bird, aren't you? I am. What is that? Well, you know, you'd rather hang out with blokes than girls. Oh, yeah, I suppose I would, really. Oh, I just think they're more... <laughs> <laughs> right, you're coming round to my place this evening for a girls' night. Oh, well, all right, but you won't bring out any mail-order dildos, will you? <laughs> no. I don't want to talk about weird penises all night. Sure. Although that could shorten the evening. <laughs> you ever tempted to climb in the back of the cab and play with yourself? <laughs> no. Nor me. Bollocks to that. Uh, hi, Dave. Julie. We, uh, we saw your carrier's eye. <sighs> yeah. Bloody cupboard doors. It's right at eye level, so it's really easy, just... <laughs> they think you're it, Baz. Uh, <sighs> they think you're a sadistic bastard, Baz. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Rise above it. Stick to your cupboard door story. <laughs> so... We're here checking out Sinead's boyfriend to see if he's serious about her. I'm checking him out. You're just here to... Why are you here? You need a sidekick. Everyone needs a sidekick. Who's yours? Yeah, no, I haven't got a sidekick. <laughs> well, there's me gran. Oh, shut up, here. Dad! Nice surprise! Sinead! Who's this? This is Chris. Chris? Uh, I'm hi. just off to the loo. <laughs> Kirk. Hi. Hi. Captain James T. Kirk. No. Right. <laughs> What's he like? Your, your sidekick or something? Yeah. Yes, he is. <laughs> we shared a black cab. Well, everywhere. We co-own a cab. That way, we halve our maintenance costs, fuel charges and road tax and utilise the vehicle to its maximum potential. But we got our mad side too. Mm. <laughs> right. Better get back for bad girls. <laughs> so, uh, Chris. What are your prospects? <laughs> Um, I manage a fast-growing media finance company. Interesting. And you uh, drive half a taxi? Never mind about me. <laughs> I suppose the thing is, I care about Sinead. That, so do I, yeah. She's very... <sighs> silly. Nobbly. <laughs> Vulnerable. Yes, yes. So you'll respect her? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Shame on you. Shame on you. I do not hit my wife! <laughs> well, you seem like a nice bloke. You'll do. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, well, don't get me wrong. I was a mucky sod when I was your age. <laughs> Ask Tina Jacobs. 
Oh, you can't. She's in prison. <laughs> <laughs> she needs a lot like me. Yeah, but with a nicer arse and rack. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's worth going through all the hoops, isn't it? But sometimes you think, come on, love, it's just a shag. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, thank you. You've been very helpful. Goodbye. Oh, cheers. I see you put the wife in her place, Barry. Well done. I have never hit a woman! What is wrong with him these days? Sad, very sad. This is so unfair. <laughs> Hey, love. Love. Everybody thinks you hit me, you know. Yes, I do know, thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, love. It was fantastic, actually. I had a bunch of flowers from that nice lesbian who does bikini waxes. <laughs> what? Send them back. Oh, she was just being supportive. Michelle's right. It's great how women stick together in times of crisis. I'm going round there tonight. You'll be all right, won't you, Barry? Oh. Hi, Dad. Sinead. So? What did you think of Chris? He's a scumbag. You like him, though. A snowman would hang around longer. He's cute, isn't he? A total shagger, a dog with eight dicks. Get yourself a widescreen TV instead. <laughs> Princess, look, it's just... I hate you! <laughs> He's great. I'm going to have sex with him. You are not. Go to your room! I don't have a room here. Well, then go to the bathroom! <laughs> you might want to leave it a couple of minutes. <laughs> Chris isn't like all the rest. He loves me, and we're going to get married and live on a houseboat. Well, you can't see him anymore, and that's that. And they're very damp in the winter. <laughs> All right. I won't see him anymore. And I'll live alone and miserable forever, and you'll be sorry. <laughs> Let's see a photo. Sleep with him. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Bye, Barry. Dad, have you been beating Carrie up? <laughs> Right. Let's show everyone how easy it is to get a black eye. There <laughs> we go. Oh! Oh, no, no, actually, I didn't make contact. Not as easy as it looks to hurt yourself. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
a girl's night. <laughs> Do I have a choice? Oh, Carrie, well, you've tidied up. Well, yeah, it's just... Yeah, well, don't. You're not a little wifey now. <laughs> I'm not scared of you, you slut. <laughs> OK. Tonight is all about finding your inner woman, and yes, I lied. There will be a chance to buy some lingerie and vibrators later. Come back, come, come back. <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, I don't want to group bond. Women are bitchy and devious, and it's true we have got a shaky grasp of the offside law. <laughs> come and have a drink. No. What have I forgotten? Hoovering, tidying, basic sanitation. <laughs> Chocolate knobs. <laughs> Barry, it's Kirk. Your friend. <laughs> I'm worried he might be depressed over this wife beating controversy. <laughs> Alleged wife beating. <laughs> I'm coming in, Bat. I'm classifying this as an emergency under the recently clarified use of key in coming in unannounced guidelines. <laughs> Come in, Kirk. <laughs> Are you all right? I'll bang the head. Cupboard door? Yes. You might want to switch to a system of open shelving. <laughs> Is it me? Or do we live in a mad, mad world? It can get a bit nutty, yeah. First mad thing, man chooses one woman over all others because he likes her. Then he has a drink and slaps her about. Second mad thing, in at number two, <laughs> is that I wake up one morning and suddenly no one believes a cocking word I say. <laughs> well, I'm not a liar. And I've got a badge to prove it. From the scouts. <laughs> In the attic. <laughs> and for fire lighting. Let's get a casualty. Why? No reason. Can I drive? No. <laughs> Yes, you said. Uh, sisters are doing it for themselves. Yep. Mm. Go on. Uh, where do I live? You'll recognise her. <laughs> where are my purchases? <laughs> now, are you sure that's not going to make me look like I'm easy? <laughs> Seven. And at six minutes past eight, he told me he didn't want to see me again. Oh. And sorry, who are you? <laughs> Sinead! <laughs> Bloody hell! I'm sorry, it's very dark. And I've had some Malibu. <laughs> That's not answering. Your dad is... Barry! I'm getting there, I can do this. Where are you going? I need a tissue. I've been using these leaves. Oh. <laughs> it's so unfair. After I'd surrendered my most precious gift to him, maybe your arse wasn't all it was cracked up to be. <laughs> That's one of the horrors. 
My worst was this actually quite nice bloke who, whenever he achieved an orgasm, they always achieve orgasm, don't they? <laughs> Some achievement. Now, do something useful and fix the boiler. <laughs> Anyway, he shouted out footballers' names. That's not what you want, is it? Oh, that's right, it was your dad. <laughs> Where have you been, Barry? Bang me head. Waited in casualty for five hours. Then they pointed out that Kirk sounded more concussed than me, so he gave up. <laughs> Good to see you, Sinead. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> She's made that mistake we girls have all made in our time. She's combined red with orange. Look, that's so hard to pull off. <laughs> Chris dumped me half an hour after making love. <sighs> I told you so. <laughs> Go out with me. You could do worse. No, thanks. Hey, free taxi rides. <laughs> all right. Take me home, but no talking. <laughs> I'm never going to sleep with you. Shit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, hon. You've had a bad day. Uh, it was all right. Kirk started a bit of a sing-song down at Casualty. Oh. Yeah, Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> we had the junkies doing Mamma Mia Let Me Goes. <laughs> The mad old dears doing thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening me! <laughs> and the old geezers, Bismillah, no, we will not let you go. Mm. And so on. <laughs> did you have a good night with the girls? Yeah. yeah. What did you talk about? You name it, we talked about it. Politics. <laughs> no. Sport. No. Science and technology. <laughs> no. Shoes and cushions. Yes. <laughs> Was there any lesbian action? Is that the concussion talking? Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I, I've had a bad day. I, I tried to give myself a black eye. Mm. Wait. What can I do to cheer you up? OK. Go. Hello. I'm making this video to clear up some wrong ideas which are going round that my black eye was the result of domestic violence. No way it was. <laughs> so please retain your copy of this video and show it to any other doubting Thomases. I was walking across the kitchen on my way to over there, but I foolishly left open this eye-level cupboard door. It's so easy to do, isn't it? Who knows exactly what... Can I go to bed? Go on. Who knows exactly what distracted me at that fatal moment. All we know is this happened. Ah, uh, no, see, that door should be closed. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. 